Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another awesome video. We have a cool special doohickey here to help us out with today's project. Alright, so if you're like us, you don't have the patience to be laying out all that painter's tape. It takes way too much time. When you're like halfway done, you just want to jump off the roof because you have another half to go through. So, that's too much work. That is why we went out and picked up this painter's edger cutter thingy mabobber. I don't even know what it's properly called, but there are a couple of different brands that you can pick up. This one is Sherline. Uh, I think this was only like four or five dollars. Essentially what it's supposed to do is give you that perfect painter's cut, you know, a straight line. Uh, don't have to mess with tape, don't have to mess around trying to get that perfect line or messing up or anything like that. This supposedly is supposed to take care of all of that, so I'm curious. So this is its pad right now. It's uh, a bunch of bristles. It's got that bristle technology. Uh, you do have this attachment here to put in a broomstick. Uh, and then that is pretty much it. This pad does come out guys. The refill pack is only a couple of dollars. So in terms of price, it is actually pretty good. Very good cost effective method. Now the main question is, does it work? Oh, oh, it's All right, we got our paint right here. We got the uh, Sherline Perfect Paint Edger Cutter thingy doohickey here. Uh, we have the pad on. This is a fresh brand new pad that came with it. We're going to go ahead and pretty much dab this across the tray until the entire pad is completely covered by the paint and then test it out. Just don't want to do it. There we go. There you go. So as mentioned, one way is dabbing the brush onto the paint tray. The other is actually getting a paintbrush and loading it onto the edger itself. Looks like that's as far as let me see the pad. Okay. That's not bad. Okay. No, just one way. Yeah, you gotta go one way, right? Mm hmm Alright, so only go in one direction. You want to make sure that the wheels on the guard are spinning so that you can get the closest line possible. Dribble some paint on that, making sure the guards are clear. First attempt. going. Living in the 20th century. This is it. 21st. Oh my gosh, that's way too much. And that looks like it could do. Oh, look at the wheels are moving. Crap. Some of the bristles do tend to move up. I later learned that it's actually the wheels and the guards that got stained with paint. So just double check that before you apply the edger. Okay. 
Wheels against the ceiling, against the edge. Actually need to use a little bit of force. Make sure to have your brush in your hand ready to go so you can go ahead and comb the edge of that paint so that it blends in when you roll that side. All right, so we officially use this paint edger cutter thing for the entire project, the entire paint job in the sunroom. And uh, overall, it's not bad. The only reason why I don't say it's a bad product is because it's only $4. $4 and some change, so. And the refill pack to replace the pads only a couple of dollars, so there's no need to go and clean the pad anymore. Just dispose of it, go pick up a pack, and uh, you're good to use that thing again. Obviously, you might want to clean it because this thing does does get pretty dirty. So majority of these cuts we used the paint edge cutter, uh, and for the most part, it uh, it performed decently. Obviously you want to have your brush with you on the other hand so that you can comb the paint because there's obviously going to be a line and uh, you want to make sure you comb the paint so that it blends in when you're actually rolling the wall. So with this we used a few different techniques. One just with little to no pressure just running it across which seemed to yield the best results and then the way I did it was with some pressure and pushing that down however the issue with that is it would collect paint on the guard itself just like that oh come on just like that and obviously it would mark the opposite wall that you're not trying to stain so and also when you are loading the pad with paint you want to go pretty light well at least at first you want to make sure it's completely covered but then after that you want to go light on the paint uh, when putting the pad on it Overall, the Sherline Edger Pro is a pretty decent product when used properly. Just gotta figure out the technique through trial and error. Uh, eventually you'll get it down. The price point is also a big plus at around $4.90. I think it's a great addition to the do-it-yourself weekend warriors out there, especially those who don't like taping. 